So, now I'm actually starting to tape this. Uh, oh, really? Because I've been taping all along. I bet you have, because you're cool and I'm not. <laughs> but I'm here with Lauren. It's Dave. Um, and this is Kriana. And The Dome. That's a really intimidating name. Thank you. I'm See, a really intimidating Wayne's going to love it. Room. Wayne's going to love it when he sees this. We, my, my director of marketing and promotions for the UK is also a very, very bald fellow. Life is good. Bald is beautiful. I gotta tell you. Awesome. All right. So, share with me. What do you guys do? We do a, a sci-fi Saturday night for podcast, which actually includes all speculative fiction genres, which is fantasy, horror, sci-fi, comic books, anime, whatever. And we broadcast live Saturday night at eight via UStream and Talk Two. And we just talk about news from the genre. We do interviews with artists or celebrities, authors, all sorts of different people. And we also do a trivia giveaway in the middle of the show. Awesome. So, The Dome. Yes. Would you say that the information she's been giving me so far has been correct? No, it's mostly bullshit. But no, seriously. Okay, cool. That's why I, I wanted to say, so now that she's told me a bunch of lies, what do you have to say? Because I figured she might hit me, so I didn't say that. That's a, that Smart move, because she would have hit you. Yeah, whatever. No, the reality is we're, we've been very lucky. We have a lot of friends uh, who are authors, a lot of friends who are illustrators, a lot of friends uh, in the business who know other people. And I would get phone calls from uh, Chris Golden, who's a, a terrific author. He would go, you know, I just finished doing a, a book with Amber Benson for the BBC. You want her on the show? And I, well, hell yeah. Uh, sorry, but I'm in love with her. And uh, that was a show that we had, a one-hour show, and we just bumped everybody the hell off. So would you say your favorite part of the show is um, getting those great guests on it? Um, that's 50%. The other 50% is the fanboy stuff. Because, like, I am fanboy. Look at her smile, look at her smile about <laughs> fanboy stuff. Oh, look at her cheese. She's cheesing. Oh, it's man. okay because she's melting my heart, and that's all that really matters right now. I'm recording this so you know, and I will find you, cut you down, and no one will ever see you again. Only if you can catch me. Have you seen uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? Yes, and I have the wireworks. <laughs> I have a gun. <laughs> no, you do not. Yeah, no, I don't. That was a lie. <laughs> but you are, you, why, you're, oh, man. <laughs> The other 50% is the fanboy stuff. I mean, you know, I am totally pissed off at the Fox Television Network right now. I totally agree with you. For the way they're handling uh, Dollhouse, for the way they handled Sarah Connor Chronicles. Let me cut in for a minute, guys. Let me cut in for a minute. You know, this is just going to be all one rolling take, but I want all of you to move closer together, so then the conversation will feel a bit more connected. Uh, look at look at the shuffle, look at the shuffling in. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and pull back a little bit, so I can try and get as many people in as possible, because you guys any closer would be uncomfortably close to each other. Uh, not for me. I don't find you. Uncomfortably close for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, well, that's a different story. <laughs> that's, that's not the issue. <laughs> At least that's not my issue. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. If you guys, you know, just want to fit on each other's laps, go for it. And you like it. <laughs> we like it too. <laughs> I was gonna this say, nobody here Brianna complaining. wants to take Lauren home. I will. I will take you home. <laughs> and keep her as a cat. And then hide her in the closet every time the landlord cat. comes by. I just keep enjoy her as a cat. cat. You enjoy cats. cats. My Hello Kitty obsession is completely We have a cat. You can play with our cat. His name is Malcolm. Named after Mal on Fox. Yes, his name is Malcolm Reynolds. He's a little hellion. I don't know what kind of cat that is. <laughs> I really don't. Um, <laughs> but the other the other half, getting getting back to where no, we I actually were that. before I began a blatant play for What are we talking about? Was, <laughs> was, <laughs> was the, the, the other half, the fun, the other fun part, it's just being fanboy. I mean, I have my favorite science fiction writers. I have my favorite uh, comics. I have my favorite television shows. I will shit on Lost anytime because it's a piece of garbage. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. We all agree 
That loss is trash. I will, I will shit on Fox for their inability to handle uh, anything well. Anything. Anything. Across the board. And I'll give you a perfect example of that. Okay. At the end of last season, they saw the ratings for both Firefly and Sarah Connor, uh, Firefly, for Sarah Connor Chronicles and Dollhouse, and the ratings were honestly very low. There's a reason for it. They're in the Friday night get it. And nobody's home on a Friday night. Surprise! Uh, so you want something to die, you put it on a Friday night, it dies. What they failed to take into account, even after Nielsen gave them the numbers, was that we can now look at DVR numbers through TiVo. And you can see who the hell is actually time shifting because they're out on Friday nights to watch this show. When they combined those numbers with the actual Nielsen numbers, what they found was they were pulling in really respectable ratings and cut Sarah Connor, Sarah Connor, anyone. Wait, hold on. Sarah Connor Chronicles isn't on TV anymore? No. No, they cut it. Are you serious? Yes. Like, I... I've been planning to watch that show like every single time it'd be on, and I just never got around to it, and now I find out I can't oh, watch it. Go to Hulu. Yeah. You guys are assholes. Well, I, I hear that Hulu is starting to charge for content in yeah. 2010. Yeah. Yeah. Boo, Hulu. Come yeah. on. Oh, what, what, did you, hold, hold on, though. We're gonna every go time one service so starts charging, what happens? Another one pops up. It's like they're like Jedi. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So another one comes up for free for a while. And then they eventually decide they want money, yep. and then another free one pops up. Sure. And I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen forever, well, until they start putting government agents in your house. What, what's in which case, I can move back to China, so yeah. it's all good. But what's happened for the most part is that a lot of these are bit torrent available. Oh, leave her alone. <laughs> She's, look at how, like, look at that smile on her face. I know, face. I'm in love what with is it. that? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. So, I mean, if, if you're willing to, I mean, play the bit, bit torrent game and, you know, dance around, dance around the edge of the law, um, you can get anything. I mean, I was watching Doctor Who's an hour after they aired in London. Oh, I love Doctor, Doctor Who. Uh, okay, okay. And now the new Doctor Who sucks. We can talk about Doctor Who. Doctor 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 we don't know that it sucks yet because, okay, it everyone sucks. thought David Tennant was going to suck and it he was sucks. awesome. I'm good with that. David Tennant was ridiculously awesome. Yeah, he was. So just give this guy a chance. Give okay, a I'm chance. giving him one half hour. One half, one hour. half hour. He could capture your heart. Like, I love David Tennant. I'm going to miss him. Yeah. But I'm willing to give this guy a chance. Doctor Change has happened. Okay, you know what? Since we're, since we're talking about being fanboys, James Bond. Yeah. Who's the best Bond? Meh. James Bond, really. Meh. Yeah, yeah. Sean Connery. Yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah. Daniel Craig. Daniel Pierce Craig is Brosnan. the best one. Mm. Pierce you know, Brosnan. Pierce could come a second it. for me. Last for a guy. Last By the way, this is Brian. Oh my God. This wonderful man over here who just kind of. This is Brian. Illustrator X can't show his face actually. <laughs> um, but Pierce Brosnan. No, that <laughs> Pierce would come in a close second for me. Like. He ruined James Golden Bond eye? for me only because no, last when, it, when, when he, I think no, is when like he had his suit on, when he had his suit on, he was a slick dude, okay? He was, I think we can all agree on this. But then I saw him take his shirt off once in one of the movies, and that ruined it. I was like, you are a fucking grizzly bear. This is outrageous. He's an attractive grizzly bear. So it's There's no such thing as an attractive grizzly bear. Well, there is to another grizzly bear. For the record, I've got the what kind of What kind of grizzly bears are we talking about? Well, the, the Trump card is George Lazenby for the simple reason he got Diana Rigg. Only John Steed can say that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You win. You win. My ranking, though, is Pierce Brosnan, then Daniel Craig. No. No. See, I saw Daniel Craig in Casino Royale walk out of the ocean, and he had all these little water droplets running down his body, these, these rivulets of sea ocean water, and I decided he was one of two men on the planet I would turn gay for at that point in time. Poetic. Yeah. <laughs> At that point in time. And if I did, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Alright, the other guy, just in case anyone is wondering, is um, Anderson Cooper. <laughs> Anderson Cooper has stolen my heart a long, long time ago, so I got I got there before you did. But he's gay. But he is so cute. 
But he 